All right, this is, the, uh, this is exactly what's happened up in Russia. This is the surface of the Earth. These are these huge holes that are showing up. And in these holes, they have these, all these little vascular entryways that are, are in the tube, and they don't understand them. And what they are is these things. They're the vascular blood vessels that are servicing the Earth. I know it sounds insane, but <laughs> that's what it is. Now, inside that blood vessel, those little things you see, there's some uh, with a snowball sticking out of them, but that's emanations from the, from the Earth trying to push things out there. That's where the gas comes off for methane gas and fossil fuels. I have all kinds of stuff to show you about this. Uh, you know, I have them here. I have exactly, well, not exactly, but pretty damn close. There's nothing quite as big as these that I've ever seen. These things are huge. Uh, but they are a product of life. That's not just something that the Earth, you know, that, that just happened by itself. That was life, and that actually had fluids flowing through there that serviced the Earth. The Earth is alive. And if you look at blue holes in the ocean, and, in, and even on the Earth, on the surface of the Earth, they are still alive. And they are producing even the gastrointestinal juices and all of the things of life. They actually have mucus flowing through them. They say, oh, that's the little plant animals and things doing it. I don't think so. I think the architecture of that is identical to what the architecture of that would have been, except this one is dead. All right, I'm not going to dwell on this too much. This is the, um, the space crab, and this is all of this dust around here. That's ferrous oxide, and that's from the blood. The rust is, it comes from blood when it dries out and it gets oxidized. This, there's two vascular structures here. One of them has a whole batch of the blood vessels that are going through this tissue which would have been muscle at one time. And here's the original photo here, right there. Now, notice the striations in the rock. Why would that be there? Those are there because muscle is striated. And this is muscle. All right, here's some of my specimens that I think are very similar to the ones that uh, they're showing as the crab feature from Mars. And I've been studying these for quite a while, and, um, and they, I, I'm like sure they're muscles. They're muscle. You know, bringing a muscle in a creature. And that is a blood vessel. And you see this one, like right next to it? Some of them have them right next to it. Some, you know, anyway, that I believe is where the muscle invested right into another piece of muscle or something I'm not sure but uh, it would be good to have a look at but you can see these crab legs coming out of it